always makes fun of me for saying manure. It's manure. But I say manure. I don't know why. But it comes out that way. Anyways, I want to go to Lowe's today. I want to get that. I want to get also some... Oh my god. This car is going to break on me. I also want to grab some... Um, something... Oh, some new... Um, what are they called? Uh, curtains from Ikea because Dana ruined our ones that we have right now with ink from a pen that popped and um, I want to also get some other ones to match the other uh, side doors to my little balcony out there not balcony but like little patio area and then I also want to go to um, what is this place called the nursery i want to go to the nursery because i also want to get some like rosemary i have a bunch of seedlings that are starting to grow which i'm going to show you guys but um i want to get uh some rosemary i don't want to start those from seeds i just want them to already like be uh grown so i want to get some rosemary i want to get some thyme i want to get some mint I don't want to get it from Lowe's or Home Depot because I don't feel like they're truly organic and non-GMO there. They're the plants that they already have growing. So I'm going to try at this nursery that I like to go to. They're pretty official. And then um, what else do I want to do? I have a list of things that I wanted to do. Um, oh, I definitely need to go to Target because I need to get hairspray and some new bobby pins. It's just like little things that I need for my hair or I could just go to Walgreens actually and get that um, but yeah I want to right now get something to eat too though I probably stop at I don't know I kind of want to stop at Chick-fil-a and get a Cobb salad from there but I don't know I'm not really feeling that so yeah taking you guys with me today it's been a while I know but you know I just film when I am in the mood to film. I don't like to force myself to film. I film when it's like, okay, let me film, which is not too often. Or sometimes I'll go on a thing where I'm just like, oh, okay, let me film every couple days now. Like I have to be really in the mood. Maybe when the summertime, maybe because it's getting warmer now, now I'm like more in the mood. But when it's cold outside, I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit at home and watch movies and eat and sleep like a dog or a cat <laughs> all right so right now i'm on the way to lowe's i guess i'll just stop there first and then i'll get something to eat afterwards oh maybe i'll go to california california fish grill i love their shrimp the jumbo shrimp that they have there with cajun uh, seasoning and zucchini and rice <sighs> that sounds good i don't think that's close to me though i'm in burbank but let's see okay i got my aroma okay so i got um i want to plant my cucumbers and uh zucchinis and i honestly feel like dude i just found these and i feel like i could put this up i don't want to plant it in my garden bed because i know it's going to take up a lot of space so i'm thinking i just plant it in one of these and have it grow out in a corner somewhere this is sick i didn't even know that they make these Okay, so I also have one of these on the side of one of my garden beds and it's green but this is the only one they have in green left and it's broken I don't really want to get a different colored one this one's kind of different actually let me see there's this one black I want to do black and green. I want it to all match. I don't know. These are actually really cool. So 
teleporting raised girl box. Super cool. I don't know. Maybe I can use this for my uh, um, zucchini for squash. I'm going to try to get a discount on this since it's broken. It's the last one. And I can't get one at Home Depot because it says they don't have any in stock at any of them nearby. I have to buy it online. So and it's dirty. But I'm going to try to get a discount on this. This line is ridiculous. Okay, now I'm on my way to Target. Okay. We obviously don't have the one that I like, which is a scented one, but I could do unscented too. Okay, I probably shouldn't even be here, but you guys, look at the amount of bathing suits that they have here at Target. I'm not too fond about like the butt area of these. They're kind of grandma-ish and like diaper butt, but you find the ones that are like really cheeky. Oh my God, and they're so cute. The colors and the patterns on them. Like, look at these. I'm trying to find a top for these though. Okay, so I, I just made it to um, Ikea. And I'm starving. I still have not eaten because you know how when you start shopping and you start looking for things that you want or you need and you just forget about being hungry. But once I get in the car, I remember how hungry I am and that I haven't eaten and I feel weak and I'm tired. But I really just want to get my shopping done and then eat some food. Because once I start eating, then I'm going to get tired after that too. I'm just going to want to go home and relax. So, I mean, most of the stuff that I wanted today, I already got. I'm going to come in here and get my curtains. And then um, I'm probably going to end up saving the the um, plants, like going to the nursery for tomorrow. Because I don't think I'm going to have it in me to go over there today. And it's already 3 o'clock. So yeah, I'm just gonna go into Ikea, get my curtains, and then I'm gonna try to get something to eat. I'm gonna see if I if I talk to Dana and see if he wants to meet up with me so we could get something to eat though. I'm starving, I think I want sushi. All right, let me go inside. We're here. Obviously, you know, I'm gonna have to come through the whole area where they have everything set up oh my god the inspo look how pretty the countertops are love this like look how sick this is just have a whole setup oh i like this dish oh i'm gonna get this but look how sick this setup is. It's not completely my style, but I like the table. Join our free loyalty. Just to have people come over and have dinner parties like this. Okay, so it's been days since I last recorded. Probably like a week or more since I last recorded where I took you guys shopping with me. But, um... I wanted to show you everything that I got. I've just been so lazy, but I wanted to show you everything I got because I still got some of it in bags, actually. <laughs> I don't I don't take anything out of the bag until I use it. Right now I'm in the middle of mapping out my garden because I finally went to the um the nursery yesterday and I got all the plants that I need. Cause I didn't realize that one seed of a carrot only gives you one carrot <laughs> that's not fair so i got more carrots and uh what else i got a pot i mean a watering pot and then i wanted to show you guys all the stuff that i got from um ikea that day and then the stuff that i got from target and 
and I think that's about it. That's all I really, that's, those are the only places I really got anything from. And I just worked out this morning, so I'm still in like my workout stuff and I stink and I need to take a shower, but I figured let me do some gardening before I take my shower because I'm gonna get dirty there. Anyways, so right now I am mapping this out because you know, there's a such thing as uh, something called companion planting, which means that this, these are my two garden beds, but um, which means that certain plants, you intentionally plant certain uh, vegetables and, and herbs next to each other so that they can help one another grow better. And certain ones will, um, the, the scent will like shoo off certain aphids or spiders or anything like that which i hope this works because i've never done this before but uh so far so good i have everything i'm getting everything the way i want it to be it's just a lot of research on what can go next to each other and what can't go next to each other but it's all right um so let me show you all the stuff that i got from what's it called from ikea and then the stuff i got from target which i've already been using it but hold on one second I went and got the L'Oreal El Net unscented because that's all they had at that particular target. Um, extra strong hold, but to be honest, I mean it's it is it is a strong hold. But once you like, it's that type of hairspray that once you like comb through it, it loosens up. It doesn't stay that that crunchy on your hair. Um, and I like it. Actually, I heard a lot of celebrity hairstylists use this, so that's why I got it. What else? Oh my God. Okay, so this bio oil. Bio oil. Oh, by the way, I don't know. I think every time that I've recorded, well, since the last time I recorded, I, uh, I don't think anyone knew that I cut my hair, so here it is. I cut it and it was actually shorter it's grown a lot so it's here now and it was probably like right like <laughs> right here <laughs> so it's grown a few maybe like an inch or two maybe I think like an inch it's only been like three months but anyways um yeah I cut it because I wanted my hair just was like really dull and my ends were fried and it was all blonde so I just wanted to take all that out no more bleaching I'm just gonna let my own natural hair color grow out which I've done before in the past and then uh, I don't know I, my my blonde is coming through right now I mean well it's getting lighter my hair is getting lighter because of the blonde but that's okay I kind of like it I wanted like what's it called low lights I think they're called whatever Anyway, so back to this. Bio oil. Let me see. Let me see. Does it work? Does it work? There we go. Bio oil skincare oil. So it's supposed to help improve the appearance of scars and stretch marks, um, uneven skin tone, age and dehydrated skin. Aging and dehydrated skin. Um, I don't use it two times a day. I heard you're supposed to use it twice a day to get the full effects of getting rid of any marks on your body but I don't I probably use it once a day and I mix it with my lotion and I swear to god it really does help with hydrating your skin because my the bottom of my feet sometimes if I wear um sandals too much or too often or if I put my Birkenstocks on a lot you notice that you'll notice that like your feet kind of dry in the back like your heel so what I'll do is I use that um that scrubbing thing, I don't even know what it's called, but I use the 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 one that does it by itself. I don't know, it's like a little machine. But um I use it on my heels and then when I come out, I just mix lotion with this and I put it on and I swear to god, it really really does work. But I use this on my whole body anyways. I just mix it with my lotion. So that was a good buy. I feel like as far as like hydrating your skin, what else? Then I also got, okay, so I went to Ikea and I got two pillowcases that I have not put on the couch yet because I want to change them up because Dana still has 
these fur pillows on here like we're still in winter when it's 80 something degrees outside already now um i had to buy the pillow inserts too because my pillows are not 20 by 20 but these are they're feather filled duck feather filled so i got two of those and i got two of these they're the aina and they're what? Oh, linen. 100% linen. They were cheap. They were like $10 each. And I think the pillows were like $10 each too. Um, and then I got curtains. You guys know I had to get curtains for my living room because Dana spilled ink on a set of them. So I had to replace a set. So, and I got another set for over here to match the ones that are over here. Here, let me show you guys. Here they go. And those are the ones behind me. Um, but the ones that I get are the Hilja. Mm -hmm. oh God. I get the Hilja ones. And they're like a sh almost sheer, semi-sheer curtain. I like them. I like how they hang. Um, then what else I got? Oh, I got some... Uh, what are they called? You know when you take something out of the oven and you need to place it on something and you know those little round looking things? I'll get it. Hold on. I'll show you guys in a second. But um, I also got these towels. They have a, a little handle, a little thing right here to hook it onto something. But these are waffle. I love the waffle textured um, towels. I really like them. And I feel like these are gonna dry this is just to dry your hands in the bathroom i like these though i like the color of these i like neutral called neutral tones i got two of those in case somebody decides to ruin a set or i don't know why okay so i got these to put on the counters when you take something out the oven like a pot or something or not even just out the oven from the stove and you want to put it over to the side so you have more space on yourself but this came with a pack of three that is that i think that's that oh my god yes okay and then i also in this in that time actually days after that i got a brand new coffee table that i am actually sitting on right now or not sitting on but sitting in front of and then i also got a brand new carpet because we was rocking out with this messed up carpet this is not it me and dana always get into it about carpets and not carpets area rugs i don't know why he has such strong opinions about it but let me show you guys please excuse the mess so the uh coffee table we actually just got off of i found it on um what is that place called? Um, Facebook Marketplace. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Oh my God, my hair is doing weird shit. But I found it on Facebook Marketplace. The guy had originally bought it for like $1,000, he told us. And he was trying to sell it for 400 But since we went to go pick it up and we had to carry it, but I didn't really carry it. <laughs> we had to carry it down into the car. Um, and it's heavy as hell, it's a solid wood. It was, he gave it to us for like 300 bucks which was a really good deal for a big ass solid piece of wood. This table is big. It's much bigger than what we're used to. I think it's really big for this space, but I love it. I love it. Look at that. I had um, my friend Alizé sit on it or she laid on it and she's literally the exact same size as I think this was five feet. She might be even a little longer than her. Um, but yeah, it's probably my, my height. It was 63 inches long. So that, and then our carpet, or our rug. I keep calling it a carpet, it's an area rug. But uh, seven by 10, and that one we got from, um, it's like a cream color, and it's all soft and fuzzy. Not really fuzzy, oh my God, I have to, I have to vacuum. <laughs> I have to keep up with this one though. 
because I don't do very well with vacuuming rugs. I'm gonna finish mapping this out and then I'm gonna go downstairs and plant with you guys. Show you how I put it all together. Um, and then I'm gonna shower after that because I reek. <laughs> Okay, so this is everything that I got so far. It's a lot to plant today, actually. Um, I got some radishes, some romaine lettuce, all leaf lettuce, carrots. These are the carrots that are only like one carrot each. Um, I got shishito peppers. This one's not doing as well, but it's okay. Green onions. Uh, what is this? Spinach. All of these I grew from seed. These over here I did not. These are the ones that I went to the nursery and got. These are all pretty much herbs except these. These are the carrots that I told you I got extra because mine were not going to be anything but two carrots. I got some yellow onions. I don't know if I'm going to plant these today though. These particular ones because I don't think they're old enough yet. This is another spinach. I'm still waiting for my cayenne peppers and my bell peppers to sprout. And then that squash, that's gonna take up a lot of space. So I was thinking about putting it right here by itself and then just planting whatever from there on. Cause I think it needs like two or three feet for it to grow, you know, it takes up a lot of space. So and then I'm also going to, I'm gonna put this, uh, my olive tree, I'm gonna finally repot it today and i got some perlite because i heard that it likes to be you know it likes a uh, very airy soil those pots i got because i'm gonna re i'm gonna repot these bougainvilleas i had a whole vision for this i just been taking my sweet ass time with it and then i don't know what's going on with this one right here but this one is thriving and this one is not and i have to figure out why I really don't know why but I'm gonna fix that it looks so pretty oh my god I just walked into a fucking spider web look at my tomato plant this is my heirloom tomato plant from the last time that I was growing from seed and this is the only one that survived was this heirloom tomato plant I think they're like beef steak I'm not sure but it's doing so good by itself that's exciting. And then I got this one and I had Dana put this on the side because I'm gonna put some herbs here. I'm gonna take these herbs out and I'm gonna plant some new rosemary and oregano, I mean thyme, over here. Uh, maybe I'll switch it up, I don't know, because they're not doing too well. I sprayed some stuff around here. It's like, it's safe, you know, to spray around, but it was just to get rid of uh, some, what do they call them? They look like worms, but they turn into beetles. I forgot what they're called. But anyways, I found some of them in the soil, so I got rid of a bunch of them, and then I sprayed this stuff in there, and some of it got on these. So I just, I just, I mean, even though they're safe for plants, I'd rather just get rid of them and start over. We're gonna do this. It's like 100 degrees outside right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Okay, y'all, this side is done. Ooh, I can't even see. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, this side is done. I'm gonna finish everything later though because it's like a million degrees out here and I cannot deal with this heat. And I'm getting the most fucked up tan. But um, I planted everything I wanted to plant on this side. This side I'm going to do later because it's just way too hot out here. 
And I'm gonna leave everything down here in the shade because it's just way too hot. And they were already starting to wilt. So I watered them and left them in the shade and I'm gonna deal with that later. Same thing goes for this plant too. I'll do this shit later. Okay, you guys, so I think I'm just gonna close out today's video right here. And, um, oh my God, I think there was like one other thing I wanted to show you guys that I got. Nah, it wasn't important. Oh, I got face wipes, like, to wash my face off. I mean, to clean off my makeup. My hair is a mess. But it's way too hot out here. I'm not gonna keep recording because the camera's getting hot. I'm sweating. I think I got a messed up tan. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> That's not the tan I wanted. Ugh. Did I get it on the hand? No. Not this, oh, maybe. <gasps> nah, son, I cannot be walking around like this. There's no way, there's no way. And my back, oh, hold up, let me show y'all. Look at it. I pulled my pants down so I didn't have a tan line up here at least. But look, uh, no. I wanna tan like that, but I wanna tan like that with a bikini on, okay? not with my workout clothes so i'm gonna go take a shower i'm gonna close out today's video and thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna link everything down below that i also um showed you that i bought and that's it oh my god i also forgot to tell you guys that i did receive my package in the mail from skims and my next video which you should be on the lookout for is going to be about whole new set of uh, skim stuff that I bought I'm trying different things every time I buy her stuff uh, which she actually just released the her damn um, what do they call the bathing suits but I don't know I've been looking at people's videos that have it and it don't really it don't look too good there was probably like one that I wanted, but I don't know about the butt area. Maybe when she restocks, I could probably get a hold of it to show you guys if you care. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.